Hey everybody, Antoine Fantoine here. Just barely getting out of bed and I'm already amped. I'm already hyped. I'm already full of energy. And um, uh, th there's beefs going on right now all over the internet. Meek Mill, 50 Cent, freaking Neil deGrasse Tyson, B.O.B. And now a bit more of an underground beef, a bit more of a dark, gritty, grimy southern hip-hop beef right now between Space Ghost Perp and Denzel Curry. Now, I've reviewed both of these artists. I will put reviews of their music down there in the description box if you want more background and information on them. But if you're already familiar with them, <clears throat> you've probably heard the diss track that Denzel Curry put out about Space Ghost Perp yesterday, and it's easily one of the most vile, furious, aggressive, and just pointed uh, and, and vulgar uh, diss tracks I've heard in a while. I mean, his flow is fucking out of this world on the track. His delivery was really raspy, really aggressive. He was really yelling his lyrics on the track. And it was just over this really hard, loud, just banging trap beat. Um, now, personally, uh, and, and I will link to uh, the lyrics down there in the description box if you want to read more on that. I'm not 100% sure what sparked this, but the moment I heard this track, I was like, holy shit, you know, something's really got to be going on between these guys. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, after spinning the track a couple times, really enjoying it, uh, I sort of wondered where it would go from there. Space Goes Perp, to me... <sighs> He had a decent amount of buzz back when it seemed like this dark cloud rap thing was kind of a trend, but uh, it, it seems as if his relevancy has kind of fallen off since then. Um, I, I would say uh, it, it, it started to really decline quickly around that point where he had that weird little shark beef. I mean, why he was beefing with like a 12-year-old on the internet, I'm not totally sure, but whatever. Um, but, you know, little shark <laughs> certainly got the best of him, oddly enough. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, Space Goes Perp, he's not really at the forefront of my mind right now. I mean, I'm more interested in hearing a new Denzel Curry project than I am a Space Goes Perp, Perp project. I might have sounded a little uh, indifferent toward Denzel Curry's last uh, double EP release. It was a decent double EP release, and I thought there were some really good tracks on it. Maybe just a little bit of filler, a little bit of fat. But again, I'm, mo I'm way more interested in hearing a Denzel Curry project than I am a Space Goes Perp project. And I feel like Space Goes Perp's response to Curry um, basically confirmed that because uh, he had a few lyrics here and there that seemed like, uh, you know, he knew something personal about him and he was trying to get at him with some factoids and sort of expose him a little bit and uh, uh, kind of give us a, a look at a Denzel Curry that maybe other people don't know. But the beat was boring, his delivery was flat, monotone, completely uninspired. I mean, I know that's typically his style, sort of, but it seems like he wasn't even really trying. Um, if, if, if he wasn't going to push himself out of his comfort zone and really give an attack that people were going to go, whoa, holy shit, you know, he really put him in his place, uh, I wish he just never, you know, would have responded. Um, totally boring response. Uh, probably more boring than Meek Mill's response to Drake uh, back when they had their back and forth last year. Um, interesting to see sort of these beefs flaring up, continuing to flare up on the internet. Seems like the internet's making it easier to sort of, ah, ah. Seems like now that we have this big beef that just happened, uh, that, that the whole internet just exploded over, everybody's feeling a little more aggressive, hostile. Rah! So, um, you know, perp, sorry, the response was boring. So, uh, I guess I'm just sitting here waiting for when I'm going to get in a hot beef. When am I going to get in a beef? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really the beef type, but who knows? I can't. I can't really. Uh, uh, I, I can't really uh, predict when a beef is or isn't going to happen. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not running around asking for beef. Beef might just occur. You know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Forever.